In one of the Q&A episodes, Dr. Heiser defends the old earth theory and evolution. My question is, does Dr. Heiser believe there was a literal atom or was this just another story that was a way for God to communicate theology to the people he revealed himself to? If so, was Adam a direct creation of God or did man evolve to a point and God said, that one is Adam, I will use him. I am curious if this affects his thoughts on federal headship. In Romans 5.12. Yeah, the, the easiest answer to this, at least not, well, for me, not, not really for the questioner, is read the Naked Bible blog. Uh, I, I did a whole series on Romans 5.12, uh, including these actual specific questions, you know, how the passage could be read with or without a historical atom. And I, I actually did a series on that, too, uh, the, the whole historical atom debate. And so I, I can't obviously reproduce that in a QA. and uh, I should also add, I don't believe in either the federal or the seminal headship view. Uh, since Romans 5.12 says nothing about the transmission of guilt, it only talks about death. Uh, guilt is nowhere mentioned anywhere. So I would say, please read read the series, read both series. I mean, for my part, I think there there was an original couple. I don't I don't see anything that forces us to deny that. I mean, this all got started with uh, with uh, in at least in Christian circles recently, with the work of a guy named Dennis Venema, who teaches at uh, Trinity Western University up here in British Columbia, actually near 20 minutes from where I live. That uh, he, he's he's a geneticist, and his field is statistical genetics, which is sort of it's, it's not a brand new field, but I think you, it's fair to say it's kind of in its infancy uh, because of the recency of mapping the genome and all that sort of thing. Um, he argued that that you couldn't. Based on the genetic information that we have today, the human race goes back to multiple couples, you know, for Homo sapiens and not just one. Well, it's, it would be easy to say, well, does the, isn't that kind of the situation right after the flood? You know, like, wouldn't we expect that, you know, sort of thing. But again, I, I, don't, I don't view these sorts of debates really the same way that a typical creationist would. Uh, if you read the Romans 5.12 series and the Historical Adam series, again, I talk about how Romans 5.12 could make sense in either paradigm. So on that level, I, I don't really care about it. And since I don't view the Bible as teaching science to us, I don't think it's legitimate hermeneutics to make the Bible say scientific things or comment on science. So for the record, I don't think any of the creationist positions demand my allegiance. Uh, since I don't think the point of the Bible and its creation stories is to teach us science. I don't think old earth creationism's use of scripture to do science is any more hermeneutically coherent than that of a young earth creationist's use of the Bible to do science. I don't think either of them are coherent because that isn't what scripture is about. So I think it's a misguided effort sort of across the board. I could, you know, I think the earth is quite old, not because of anything in the Bible. Although, again, if you go back and watch the video on Genesis 1, 1 to 3, you'll know that the grammar of Genesis 1, 1 to 3 allows for a very ancient planet, a very ancient earth that has nothing to do with science. That's just grammar. So if, if there's any quote unquote scriptural reason to believe that, that, that's where I would land, the grammar of Genesis 1, 1 through 3. Uh, I also don't defend evolution if you mean Darwinism. I, I, I reject Darwinism. That's evolution without God. Uh, that, you know, for people who would wonder what the distinction is, I, I would say if evolution is real. Again, I'm not a I'm not a biologist or a geneticist or, or anybody that would call that a, call their discipline somehow relevant to uh, an intimate knowledge of evolution. But if it's real, then God is behind it. Again, that 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 would be where I land. I'm persuaded that evolution should be taken seriously, though, in part by young earthers, believe it or not, like Todd Wood. And I've read his stuff on the podcast before. Todd Wood is a, he's a biologist by training. His, his special focus is genetics, but he's a young earther. And he says evolution is not a theory in crisis. It makes a whole lot of sense, but he just doesn't like it. <laughs> you know, he, he rejects it and thinks that the, the, the evidence you know, will, you know, may have a different explanation. Uh, he feels sort of that he has to choose, you know, the biblical narrative over again what what science actually tells him, which I think he's needlessly conflicted about. Again, I, you know, if if I, if we ever meet face to face, we'll have that conversation you know, with with Todd. But he's very honest. Uh, he's not dismissing what he knows is coherent science just because he does he doesn't like the fact that it flies against a literalist reading of Genesis. As a Christian, he just takes Genesis and says, I don't really know what to do with this, but it's not a phantom. It's not fakery. It's real. And it, it, it's, it's a coherent theory, and it's not in crisis. So I respect people like Todd Wood, again, just because of their, their point-blank 
honesty. And so, you know, if I hear that from him, I, you know, I think to myself again, and I've, I've done a fair amount of reading about evolution that, Hey, there, there's something to this. It, it really does have explanatory power in a number of regards. So I shouldn't just throw it out and pretend it's not real. So again, that, that's just the way I look at things. But uh, since I don't think the Bible is, is here to teach us science, I think it's here to teach us about the creator, uh, that the person who, who gives us the net, gave us the natural world from which and, you know, out of which we do science, then I don't really feel that I have to align myself with any of these views. And I can equally object to the way old earthers or young earthers use the Bible to try to do science from scripture. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not planting my flag in, in, in any of these territories because I think, I think the whole enterprise is a bit misguided.